hi there and welcome to the latest in our look at the constellations. This time we're going to look at Leo, one of the zodiac constellations and the 12th largest constellation in the sky. Represents the lion, associated generally with the Nemean lion in Greek mythology. And it contains five Messier objects. It also has 11 stars that have known planets to them. Starting with Alpha Leonis, Regulus. The brightest star in Leo, the 22nd brightest star in the sky, with an apparent magnitude of 1.35, about 77 light years from us. It's a four star system composed of two pairs of stars. Regulus A is a binary star, which has a blue white main sequence and a companion star which we think is a white dwarf, whereas B and C um, share common proper motion. Denebola, or Beta Leonis, the second brightest star, is the 61st brightest in the sky, with an apparent magnitude of 2.11 and is approximately 35.9 light years from us. Algeba, or Gamma Leonis, is a double star. Traditional name Algeba, or Algeba, comes from Arabic meaning the forehead, and the star is sometimes known by its Latin name of Juba. It has a visual magnitude of 3.51 and is 50 times brighter than the sun. Delta Leonis, Zosma, a rapid rotating star with a projected rotational velocity of 180 kilometers a second. It has an equatorial bulge and is an oblate shape. It's a white main sequence star with a visual magnitude of 2.56. Chort or Theta Leonis, another white main sequence star, has an apparent magnitude of 3.32 and is estimated to be 550 million years old, which means it's much younger than the sun and it exhibits emission in infrared indicating the presence of a circumstellar disk of dust. Alminlea, or Kappa Leonis, a binary star with an apparent magnitude of 4.46, approximately 210 light years distant from us. Lambda Leonis, apparent magnitude 4.32, 332 light years away. Subra, Omnicron Leonis, a double star, approximately 135 light years away, a combined apparent magnitude of 3.53. Aljaba, or Eta Leonis, a white supergiant with an apparent magnitude of 3.511, 2,000 light years distant. Adhafera, or Zeta Leonis, a giant star with a visual magnitude of 3.33, 274 light years distant. Now there are two meteor showers associated with Leo, the Leonids, November the 17th to 18th every year, have a radiant near the bright star Gamma Leonis, and the January Leonids, which are a minor shower, peaking around the 1st and the 7th. Another interesting star is Wolf 359, which is a red dwarf with an apparent magnitude of 13.54, but it's only 7.78 light years distant from the Sun, and was of course made famous in Star Trek for its role in the battle at Wolf 359 with the Borg. May I pause a moment just to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are really important to me. It shows me people are interested in the hard work that I'm putting into running this channel. Thank you very much. Messier objects, well we have M65, an intermediate spiral galaxy with an apparent magnitude of 10.25, 35 million light years distant. Messier 66, M66, another intermediate spiral galaxy in Leo, discovered in 1780 by Charles Messier himself, with a visual magnitude of 8.9, 36 million light years away. It's approximately 95,000 light years across and notable for dust lanes and bright stars. Messier 95 is a barred spiral, visual magnitude of 11.4, approximately 38 million light years away. And there was a supernova observed in M95 in 2012. Messier 96, another intermediate spiral, has an apparent magnitude of 10.1. It's 31 million light years away. And M105, an elliptical galaxy with a visual magnitude of 10.2 and approximately 32 million light years distant, known to have a supermassive black hole at its centre. M65, M66, along with NGC 3628, which, we got, which we're not looking at today, formed the famous Leo Triplet Galaxy Group. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the constellation of Leo, the sign of spring, in my opinion, arising in the Northern Hemisphere in March and setting in June. Um, so stay tuned. Dark skies. Happy stargazing. Speak to you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.